right, today we're going to make another homemade rocket. Hopefully this one holds up better than the last one. Our body is just going to be a cardboard tube. Don't know where I got it. I think it's just a, a shipping tube of some sort. Fins are going to be out of an eighth inch MDF paneling board. Nose cone will be out of a styrofoam block that will be shaped and then coated with some epoxy resin to make it solid. And then we've also got some templates that we've got from the Open Rocket software for making our nose cone and our fins. I've got a piece of our tubing. I've got it marked at 17 and a half inches. So we'll be using a sugar rocket made out of one inch PVC. So in order for that to be held in here, we're going to need to make two retaining rings that will get glued inside there. So that's what we're going to build next is the little retaining system for the motor. To get the center, I drilled out most of the center and then I'm just going to finish off with a quarter round file until it slips on nicely and snugly onto the PVC. The first ring is going to get glued in with some epoxy and it's going to get glued in six inches from the bottom of the rocket. Now that that ring is glued in six inches into the bottom of the rocket tube, I've cut three little strips of the MDF and I'm going to glue each one of them onto the side of the tube up against that ring that's in there. And then lastly, once those are dried and set in, I'm going to glue the last ring into the body and push it up against the bottom of all three of these strut pieces. So in order for the rocket motor to lodge, dislodge out of place, it would have to break loose both rings and all three of the strut pieces that will all be glued in with epoxy. Now I've got all the rings secured in there for the motor mount. I'm going to move on to the fins. I've cut out my template for the fin. Uh, it's a three fin system, so I'll cut out three fins from my eighth inch MDF material. I've got the fins cut out. These are just going to be surface mount fins. I'm going to epoxy them on and then after that's dry I'll put two fillets of epoxy on each side and a little bit on the top just to reinforce that. I've got a three-point guide that'll help me get the three of them aligned properly around the rocket. Now we're going to work on the nose cone. I've got this template printed out and what I did is I cut away one half of it and I used that to cut out a piece of wood, a piece of half inch MDF to match the profile of the nose cone. I'm not worried about the indent where we're going to go into the rocket. We'll take care of that by hand later. So this is just the outer profile. Now we've got a piece of craft foam and a 3 8 aluminum rod. What we're going to do is just shove this down in nice and straight. And then we're going to put a dab of hot melt glue around the top just to lock those together. Temporary. So to start off, since I'm going to be making this round, I'm just going to cut off the corners with a razor knife just to get rid of all the hard edges. That'll make it easier for the next step. So I've got my drill press set to its slowest speed, and I'm going to chuck this up into the drill press. And then I'll be able to use this piece 
to push against it like a lathe and shape it until I get it to the right diameter that I'm looking for. And here's how it came out off of the drill press. So this piece is actually longer than what we need and that's good. So what I'm going to do is carefully mark and then hand sand a ring around here to make the shaft area smaller so that it will fit into the tube of the rocket body. Now that the cone is done in shape, I'm going to put several coats of this fiberglass resin on the cone to make it harder and also I made the exterior diameter of both sections of the cone a little bit smaller than the diameter of the cardboard tube for the rocket so the fiberglass resin will help increase the size of the cone and we'll put enough coats on there to make it strong and just enough to make it fit nice and firmly into the top of the rocket. Alright, so here's the completed product. We've got our engine installed, nice and flush with the bottom. We've got our exterior launcher platform ready to go. So hopefully we don't have a catastrophic failure with this one. It's a little bit shorter and actually a lot heavier. It's built out of a cardboard tube this time, so hopefully it should go good. Again, this one does not have a parachute, so this is just a true prototype for proof of concept. Probably going to destroy the nose cone on landing. Well, definitely going to destroy the nose cone on landing. So, we'll see.